All right, everyone. So here is um, number video number two. A um, couple things I want to talk about. Um, and it's about the show, and uh, you know, I've I've kind of been slacking. I'll I'll admit for the episodes because it's like when I get home, it's like uh, I don't really want to do it, you know. But then there are days like today where I want to do it. So it's I don't know. It's weird, but um, I'm gonna try. After this week, since today there's two videos, um, I think after this week I'm going to try, and I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I'm going to try to at least once a week, you know, get back in the once a week kind of thing, and, um, uh, you know, I think every Wednesday videos will be uploaded, but, um, you know, either Wednesday around 5, or Wednesday later in the night, I, I don't know. But, um, so, basically, if you really want to watch my show that bad, which I don't think there really are too many, um, <laughs> you, your best bet would probably be just to, you know, wake up Thursday morning and watch it. But, um, I mean, like I said, that's probably what I'm going to try to do. Uh, that said, it might work, might not, I don't know. Um, so, I mean, yeah, just, you know, every, every Wednesday, I think, um, if I'm feeling it. No, but, uh, I mean, in all seriousness, I, you know, I think I will try that. But, uh, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, um, I'm going to talk about Drew McIntyre. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, for those who've been watching SmackDown or those who haven't, he's been losing week after week after week. And it's really not progressing. It's staying stagnant. And it's not going anywhere storyline-wise. It's not, you know, it, it's nothing to write home about. Um, but I just read online, I might post the link to the article in this video, um, it was from eWrestlingNews.com, and basically, uh, the article was saying that it's possible WWE could repackage him into an arrogant playboy, as the words, uh, were being used to describe it, and, um, I don't like that. I mean, I like the chosen one better than, um, this arrogant playboy, because here, here's why. Arrogant Playboy, it's been done a billion times, and it'll be done a billion times more. Um, I mean, you, you you look back until, you know, probably the most famous incarnation of that would be Ric Flair. I mean, what did what would he do? He would come out to the ring with these huge, ridiculous robes on, you know, flaunting all of his money, woo, you know, and psyching out the crowd. It worked, because at that time, gimmicks were around, but they weren't the arrogant playboy type, and I think that's why, with a guy like Ric Flair, he was able to get away with it, flash forward to today, Dolph Ziggler, um, when I think of arrogant playboy, I think Dolph Ziggler, um, you know, the show off, you know, I mean, the nickname says it all, so it's like, why would you want to do something that's been done so many times before, but then it got me thinking here, the same thing was said about Brodus Clay, when uh, week after week, all these hype videos were being played of him saying return, and, you know, it was him looking like a savage beast, and it was like, really? You know, that's been done before. But they threw a curveball at us, and we got the Funkasaurus from Planet Funk. And as ridiculous as that is, it has us talking. And that, whoop, let's see if I can, hold on, okay. As ridiculous as what that was, it got us talking. It, it got us to be fans again. And, uh, look, I'm not saying you have to do anything drastic with Drew. I think that making him into an arrogant playboy is stupid and, you know, it's it's moronic in my opinion because of how much it's been done. And we live in a period of wrestling to where, you know, this isn't the 90s and it's not, it's not all defiancy and that... Back then, it was Steve Austin always defying Vince McMahon, similar to how CM Punk is doing with uh, Triple H or John Laurinaitis. Um, you know, back then, you had teams like DX and, you know, the Hardys, Nation of Domination, all these great teams. But now, you don't have anything like that. And I think that's where, what they need to do with guys like Drew McIntyre, where you really don't have much for him. Rather than him getting repackaged as a stupid gimmick or riding the bench on superstars, I think, in my opinion, the best thing to do with him is to stick him in a tag team with Wade Barrett. 
I would love to see that tag team. I mean, you got the bare knuckle brawler, and you got the chosen one. You know, both men are not from the United States, and they do they do well singles wise. Well, except for Drew's latest streak, but I think it's to the point to where you 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 should put him in a tag team and see what happens. I mean, what do you have to lose? Um. If they were to do it, though, I would hold off until WrestleMania. That way, you know, from now to WrestleMania, this is your season where you got to pick your spots and have people in certain places. But I think after that, you know, once, you know, the following month, once May kicks around, I think you got to start experimenting more. This way, it could, you know, people say the road to WrestleMania starts at the Royal Rumble, and it ends, of course, at WrestleMania. But... I don't look at it like that. I think WrestleMania is literally a 365-day-a-year job because that's your ultimate goal, okay? And if you want your eyes on the prize, you can say it all you want, and I'm sure that they probably think, no, our, our goal is every day is WrestleMania season. You know, we have to fight like it's our last. And, and it's not because TNA is taking their job. Honestly, you know, let's be honest here, the ratings for WWE have gone drastically down since the 90s. And they need to keep finding ways to build up and keep plugging in certain people at different spots. And I think this is where a guy like Wade Barrett and a guy like Drew McIntyre, if you team them together, could make an amazing combination. People said no way when Edge and Christian burst onto the scene, and look what happened, you know. People said the same thing on a lesser scale with John Morrison and The Miz. Look what happened. Their accomplishments speak for themselves, and they have great chemistry. So... Why not at least give it a chance, you know? But, I mean, if not, if you're not going to do that, then I think make him into main event star. You're going to have to do something to tell these fans, hey, this is the guy we want to put our franchise tag on. This is the guy that we want everywhere. Every time you turn on SmackDown, we want his face to be on it. And that seems almost like the attitude that they were going for at first, but now it's like, uh what you know so i mean i i think what they really need to do though is just figure out what they're doing and stick with it they can't every week it it can't be a guessing game you have to have your plan set in stone and to me it's like wwe just they don't do that or they don't do it enough so um Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys Wednesday. Follow me on Twitter, and I will put the link. Yes, I am plugging myself on Twitter. This is my own show. Take it or leave it. And that's it. So, bye.